So we are in the garage right now, and Tim is checking out the attic. Hey! hey. Say hello, Tim. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Scott? <laughs> got a nice place here, so far. Very large. How did the electrical panel look in here? Uh, two double tap breakers. So we'll have to have them fix those. There's plenty of room in there for another breaker. Okay. So, and he has a, there's a generator hooked up out here. And it's hooked up to 220, so if you like to tinker around, you got another. Lots of you power. You got a nice man cave to do it in. Uh, how, and is it all insulated up in there? No insulation. No, no insulation. Dry. Yeah, the, okay. Uh, the walls are insulated, but not the ceiling. Okay. Door work. Make sure you tell them the camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look pretty good on camera. <laughs> There's no heat in this uh, attic crawl space, Scott and B. <clears throat> okay, what will be the master bedroom? I think this is probably it. Right. Are the seals broken on those windows, or is that a well, condensation on the outside? Of, it's on the inside, actually. I don't know if it's because it's been so cold in here. A lot oh. of times when you pull these shades down, it keeps a little. That's what happens. Yeah. It does the same thing in my house. On my picture window in the front, at night I put the shade down. Okay. If I run the uh, fireplace or something, yeah, I'll get a, I'll get that. Okay. So that's probably just what it's from. Testing the outlets now for to make sure they're grounded properly. All these have open grounds, which panels grounded, but all the switches are two wire. Yeah, these are all two wire. I mean, it's new wiring, but the wire that feeds it, yeah, is a two wire. Okay. Then this is three wire. The, the new stuff. So more than likely, they insulated. Yeah. When they took the a Latin plaster off. Okay. This bedroom is all drywall, Scott and B. Take this out? Yeah. Make this into a yeah. uh, master bedroom, maybe. I don't think it would be a, they, wouldn't they be a big you deal. They about the bathroom. They said they, too, had talked. Had they been there longer, that little room upstairs? They would plumb the room upstairs. Bathroom. Yeah. So yeah, that's one of the things we were going to do. You know, I, I just assumed that it, uh... Let's see. Yeah, there's no runner for it in there. Hmm. Funny, I just assumed that it slid across there when I was in last time, but it obviously doesn't belong in here. Here is 
sort of sagging a little, but just talking about the uh, doorways upstairs are fairly uneven, but they look pretty good down here. And again, all the lath and plaster has been removed from these rooms and it's been drywalled. I thought that was sort of interesting there. Well, that's where they ran all the wirings. Old house, new house. For the, uh, all the new wiring coming in, the new yeah. junctions to go out. Yeah. It's always nice to separate them. Mm -hmm. I mean, they probably should have put them in a panel box to do the right thing. So what part is They're the addition? Open. This part here? This part here. The kitchen on? I would say this. Yeah. This and the good. other spot is the original farmhouse, the other side. Yeah. We'll see where the basement divides you do. Mm -hmm. Scott and B, this is Stephanie Joss. She is from Husky Property Management. Say hello, Steph. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for buying my house. <laughs> So there isn't over any overhead lighting in the refrigerator and pantry room, Scott and B. There's a plug-in light down here on the floor, as you can see. So that'll be something that you may want to... They heated the whole house with their wood stove. They used it, their furnace bill, they said, was like $75 or some ridiculous amount. Really? But they said that they, they, well, they had that set up, they actually said they would heat it. I believe that's what that, I don't think there's a wood stove down south. Mm -mm. But yeah, we don't just... Do you seal tool detect anywhere? Or seal carbon dioxide? I do. I remember seeing it. I don't know if it's mentioned in the kitchen. I don't remember where. Hole's very dry. Good. No water. Basement is dry. Obviously, 150 years old. You're bound to have a little bit of moisture, past moisture, but basically in good condition for 150 years old. As are the floor joists. And they had some support posts they put in. <laughs> 